<laughs> Take it easy. They got the thing in the Hi. Katele. All of me are already evil. Yeah. There's no turning back. <laughs> the Eaton Highlands are known for two things. The highest mountain in the country and the highest skyline in the world. Now, the second thing, not so much. But what you should be known for is subscribing to this channel because I do travel and I do filmmaking. My name is Ashish and welcome back to the NCube. If you're new, please subscribe down below and join Team Cube if you want to know more about travel and filmmaking. The goal of this video is to show you just how beautiful the Eaton Highlands of Zimbabwe are and hopefully to inspire you to come here and see it for yourself and experience it for yourself too. This is one region in the country where nature and you become one thing. And I look like I'm about to cry because it is cold. It is cold. But it makes you feel alive. So it's worth it. Let's get traveling. When you're having a whole road trip, you're supposed to be mentally prepared for it. I'm really not mentally prepared and this is kind of like a couple hours before so let's get packing. We're running late. It's 20 past 7. We're meant to leave at 6. Won't we? We're meant to leave at 6 so we're running late as usual. Such thing in Africa. <laughs> Watch me later shorts if you don't get that. We made it. And what I'm looking at right now is a piece of beauty, is a piece of divine masterpiece from nature. Welcome to the Honde Valley. Zim had these amazing things that we don't know about and we're about to see. We are at Mutrazi Falls and this is in fact the tallest waterfall in the country if I'm not mistaken so it actually is amazing second tallest in Africa according to research and if I'm not wrong I if I'm, if I'm wrong I will have the stairs right here right next to me right there however Mutrazi Falls is located in Nyanga in the Eastern Highlands and it's an amazing place to go to a lot of people don't know about this but it has the highest built skyline skywalk on land in the world in the world. Now in order to get to the falls you actually have to take a little bit of a hike so right now we're just wandering around the forest taking a hike to the falls and it's an amazing view. So guys if you've never been to the Eastern Highlands if you live in Zimbabwe this is an amazing place to come and just see the spectacular things we have. We don't just only have Victoria Falls being one of the seven ones of the world we have the second highest waterfall in Africa. We have the highest built skywalk in the world. Quote behind me talks about how, you know, faith can move mountains. And it's an amazing quote. So you're about to see beauty and wonder of what exactly it means to be in a space where people show to the true glory of nature. This is it folks. Okay, just okay. keep your hands well away from me. Right. Yeah, then you'll be fine. Thank you so much. Thank Great, so Thank you, so much. you sit and then you slide off. Ready? I'll see you guys on the other side. For now, enjoy these views. coming to Mutarazi Falls don't forget to bring water because if you come during the middle of the day which you probably will because it's closed in the evening you need, a, you need a bottle of water because you actually hike a lot more than you think you do so bring a bottle of water because it will serve you 
very well. And so the zipline was $70, that included the Skywalker Cross and then ziplining back. And I will say, I, fi I found it really hard to justify the cost, but at the same time, I feel like it was well worth the cost. You're not really paying for the experience of a zipline, you're not really paying for the experience of a skywalk, you're paying for the view. It is an amazing view and it's a view that you can't get anywhere really, other than here, because it is unique to the space. Day two, getting younger and it is looking beautiful. I think one of the only places in the country where the green that's here just makes you feel refreshed and it's away from all connectivity so I am pretty much off the grid. This is Traubek, the actual resort and uh, a lot of activities you can do here. We are going to go pedal boating. Pedal boating. Pedal boating. Pedal boating. That's what we're going to do. So, what we're doing today. It's a lot of work. Definitely a leg workout. What you saying? Nah, I'm chilling, man. Nice. And I said we sit down and talk about the prices of things, the activities, as well as how much you'd want to budget to come to Nyanga in the first place. And it's very important that you know how much you'd want to budget if you were to come here because it is a region where you are gonna use a lot more money than you expect so it would be advisable to know the ballpark range of how much you would want to bring i would suggest hiring a high clearance car because the road this side is not friendly to small or low clearance cars because there are a lot of dust roads a lot of hilly roads it is a hilly region so you're gonna encounter a lot of off the path beaten roads when going to mutarazi which is the falls uh, you're going to be paying for five dollars entry for the national parks because it's in the national parks So you're paying five dollars entry per person and for the activity at the falls you're looking at around 60 to 90 dollars per person The activity of the skyline or the skywalk So the skywalks the bridges that you can walk on There's the skyline that you can zip line across and This is an amazing activity. Tropic is a hotel I time to really bear in mind Tropic is a hotel so you can stay there they have accommodation there and generally they offer accommodation plus breakfast lunch you're gonna cover for yourself and dinner you're probably gonna cover for yourself so if you're budgeting anywhere between $20 to $40 per meal you're gonna be looking good for both lunch and dinner activities wise like I said you're gonna budget between $10 to $15 10 to $20 per activity and that is gonna carry you so if you're going to do five activities, you're looking at around $50 per activity and that will help you enjoy your time and spend your time here. The big activity they have here, they do have a golf course here at Tropic. I would say the big thing of this region is in fact the hiking trails, is in fact the trails, the mountain trails and just the scenery and being able to like see everything. And that's because this region is a hilly region. It had the high, it had the tallest mountain in the country. So if you want to go climbing up Mount Nyangani you're gonna have to budget another five to twenty dollars I am not so sure you're gonna have to check the national web the national parks with the Zim Park website to actually see how much on the budget for climbing the, the the highest mountain in the country so one of the beautiful things about Trout Big are the views and you don't get views like this unless you're on the golf course wait let me see if I can show you look at that Look at that view. You don't get viewed like this unless you're on the golf course. 
It's amazing. So go golfing if you want to see some spectacular views. If you come golfing here at Chubbik, one of the amazing things that you find in the golf course is a lot of nature, but you also find a whole lot of cows. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a whole lot of them. Look at that. Y'all know your food. Do you know? Okay, so we just finished 18 holes of golf and I am hired. So please don't mind my white lips. However, I think I've saved the best activity for last and that is horse riding. I'm in love with horses, if you didn't know. I really hope their horses doesn't look like they're any right now. I hope they come back like just now because uh, it's not looking good. However, we will see because they did say I should be there at 3 o'clock and it's quarter to 3 now so... Right after horse riding, I did end up losing my mic, and that's very unfortunate. I'm very sad about it. However, I really, really loved horse riding. Absolutely loved it. I think I'm going to do it again. Hopefully, we'll do it again if I go back to Nyanga anytime soon. However, if you're in Nyanga, if you're in Zimbabwe, go there and have an amazing time. Go there and relax. Go there and experience all the things that it has to offer. And above all else, recenter yourself because it's one of the best regions in the country that helps you to ground yourself and recenter yourself back to who you are around nature. That is refreshing. Now, thank you for watching this video and subscribing to Travel and Filmmaking. My name is Ashish and this is the Incube. So, guys, with that said, we headed out. And until tomorrow, we're gonna keep traveling the Incube.